Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video, I will be driving you guys through downtown Troy, Alabama. And depending on my... In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Industrial Road. And depending on my timing, I'm going to try to show you guys other parts of Troy that are a little more... That are a little better off than some of the areas that you guys saw on my last video of Troy. Take the next left onto Industrial Road, then you will arrive at your destination. You've arrived. And another, not one thing I like to say about Troy, Alabama is, is for those of you that have college age students or you happen to be one of those individuals that have a, 
you have a liking for the college atmosphere, and I know plenty of people who do, even though they don't have any college-age students or anything of that nature, there's still people out here that do have, I mean, they like the college atmosphere. They like the young energy. So for those who have the right amount of money, may want to move to a college town. Now, the biggest and busiest college town here in Alabama is going to be Auburn, Alabama. Now, for those of you that know Indiana, realize that the major college town of Indiana is Bloomington. Here in Alabama, the major college town is going to be Auburn. Now, for those of you that might want to live in Auburn, but find that you don't have the financial means to live in Auburn. I mean, FYI, you can move here to Troy and, and purchase a home or rent for significantly cheaper than what you would have to pay to live in Auburn. And again, I'm shooting this video on a weekend. So that's the reason why that you guys don't see a lot of traffic right about now. It's not because Troy is not a busy city, because Troy is a very busy city with, with a lot of traffic. A lot goes on here in Troy. But as I told you guys on many videos now, I typically do my videos over the weekend. That way I don't have to deal with as much traffic. what I changed my mind on you people I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video off by doing communities 
that are closer to downtown. To me, that's going to make a lot more sense than driving all the way across town. So I'm going to just drive through some of the communities that are close to town here. See, I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, we went through all this crap. Sorry for the sun being in your eye. My apologies.
Alright people, I'm getting ready to jump on 231, which 231 is going to be one of the major roads that goes through the city of Troy, Alabama. This is going to be the main road where you're going to find a lot of your businesses, like such as shopping, restaurants, automobile service, fitness, all that good stuff you're going to find here on 231.
All right, people, here's one of your nicer communities here in the city of Troy, Alabama. Now this community is just right off of 231. So you're right by all your amenities. Now this community is not the fanciest community of Troy by any means. However, it is a pretty, it is a fairly nice one. I would say right now the average home prices around here are gonna probably run you uh, 225000 dollars. I'm just guessing. But I would say the average cost of a home right now around this area is going to be real over $200,000. And this community is just off of the main stretch of 231. All right, folks, I'm gonna take you guys through a everyday working class community. This is gonna most likely be the community that the majority of you are gonna probably end up living in for those that are wanting to live in Troy, Alabama. As you guys can see, it's nothing special, nothing fancy here. You just have regular size houses, regular size city, regular size city lots. Sorry for the sun being in your eyes again. It's the only way I can get to, the only way I can get to where I need to go here. Yeah, nothing special here, people. Just regular, everyday houses. Hard working class people. 
So for those of you that might have a little bit more money to spend on housing, like compared to the person who might have to live in the lower, in the cheaper section of Troy, for those of you that have a little bit more money than that, then this is gonna be the community that you're gonna most likely be looking at living in if you wanna live here in Troy. Now, FYI, Troy, Alabama does have upscale communities. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a video of those kind of communities or not. It depends on my timing today. Now, some of these houses, in my opinion, are, are, are pretty nice houses. And I would say, in this community, you know, once again, uh, you can expect to pay an average of a couple hundred thousand dollars for one of these houses. Uh, it's getting close to the end of the end of my uh, timing. I'm getting close to the half hour mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here, and I'm gonna do a part two. So I'll see you guys on part two of this video. Everybody have a blessed one.